Welcome, Cancer, to your mid-November, mid-December reading. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates to leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements, your moon and rising, your Venus, to see if there's any more clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for the trust and support. I really appreciate you all. Okay. There we go. Central, that is what's going on. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Authoritativeness. Authoritative. Authority. I'll take that because that popped out. Two of Cups. Let's see. Four of Swords. Queen of Swords. I love to see the king and queen, the partnership there. Queen of Cups. The lovers. And three of cups. Beautiful. Some type of cause of celebration going on. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the two of swords. Decisions. Time for decisions. All right. All right. We start out with the king of swords. That is kind of what's going on right now for you. There could be some type of um, promotion, raise, um, some type of person you have to go in front of. You have the king and queen. It could be a father figure you have to face for some reason. It could be, um, again, some type of interview you have to go on. Mm. There's a fairness here. There's an uncertainty on your part, but there's a fairness here with this person. So it's like, uh, I feel like trust in the process. Trust in the process and uh, somebody is looking out for you. You have somebody looking out for you, somebody pointing you in the direction you need to go. It could be a mother-father figure here with the King and Queen of Swords. It could be people in your life that are like parents or like a mother-father figure. These kind of work in tandem. It's really funny because it came out for uh, Gemini also. The King and Queen of Swords. Fairness and just intellect, knowledge. It's like there's an understanding for what you're seeking here. Someone's going to help you move yourself forward. You have the Two of Cups here, and then you also have um, the Lovers, which I find very interesting. Two of Cups is a partnership, and this is, it can do, it could have to absolutely do with love, but it's also like-minded souls. It's also mirror images of yourself, seeing yourself in someone else. Um, it can be... It can be a, a, a partnership, it could be love, it can be working with somebody that is going to uh, support you. There's a lot of support here. Again, I, again, with King and Queen of Swords, with this card, I feel like if you have a partner in your life, they're very supportive. If you don't have a partner in your life, I feel that this is a like-minded soul. Somebody you can depend on. Somebody that, it's almost like you share the same goals. But I really feel like this is, again, it won't be for all of you, but I feel like this is a, a partnership. This is a partner. You have the Four of Swords. This talks about a break. This talks about taking a time out, regrouping, getting your thoughts together. Kind of putting out to the universe what you want and then backing up and just letting the universe take care of it. That could be where the King and Queen of Swords comes in because it's all those swords. It's all that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That thoughts, communication. You know, somebody could be communicating on your behalf. You have a Queen of Cups here, Cancer. This could be you. It could be somebody in your life that's a mother figure. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. 
There's a lot of support here. You have a lot of support around you. This can also be you getting in deeper touch with your feelings, your emotions, with your spirituality. It could be finding a clearer path for yourself. I don't know if you've ever done water scrying, but I'm getting a strong uh, vibe on that. So if you haven't, or if you have, Google it, look into it and see, and, and maybe practice that. See if there's answers there that you're seeking. Because I feel like what you want, the answers are within you, and that's why you're taking this break. That's why you're going within. Maybe you're going in to see what you want. Maybe you're going in to see what you want to do, especially with these two uh, two of swords decisions to be made I feel like whatever's coming up whatever's coming in that there's no wrong answer right there's no wrong answer but you don't know what the best right answer will be and you are the only one that knows that cancer you're the only one that knows that so you really have to go in side in yourself and just feel it just give it some time to see what the best right answer for you will be because again there's no wrong answer you have the lovers lovers is all about choices choices in the lovers we take in the people we we have surrounding us six is a number of harmony and peace and success and then you have the Three of Cups here. So that is a card of celebration. So I feel like there's something coming in. It, does, it doesn't have to be a major, major something. But there's something that is going to cause for celebration. There's something that is going to maybe be a partnership. Or something that's going to come in that's going to make you feel a part of. Like some type of family or some type of group. Or some type of... Uh, Some type of department or group again it, it's like some type of whatever it is it's people you're going to get along with really well it's showing up as the two of cups like-minded people it's like you're going to meet people or you're going to be led to people and what might seem scary isn't going to seem scary it's not going to be scary because it's like maybe it's somebody you know It's really dealing with your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, your knowledge. Putting your knowledge to the test. Answering your intuition. Seeing what's the best course of action for you. I just feel, Cancer, that you have, you know, the overthinkers. We have, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't. I'm going to ask them. Well, they're, they're saying, you know, we can help you, but you have to make the final decision. It's like they can... Put the pros and cons down but you have to make they're not going to tell you what to do you have to figure this out for yourself that's why you're blindfolded and each of your claws are on a sword you have to figure this out internally for yourself sleep on it rest on it like they can't do it for you it's really funny the card underneath of it is talks about you know a new start fresh start to something um, it could be knowledge based it could be uh, some type of creativity or some type of outlet that you're going to get to experience but it also is this this give and take this balance that's going to be coming in it could be money something's going to balance out it could be a job promotion or some type of job that is going to help balance out or balance your finances out. 
And I just feel with the Two of Swords, whatever is coming in, it might not be your ideal. It might not be this is what I want to do with the rest of my life or whatever. But it's for the here and now. And there's cause of celebration. Again, I feel like there's a lot of like-minded people. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, connections there's a lot of connections and remember I said six was a card of victory and success you have the, the wreath here with the three which is a card of growth the victory wreath so there's there's some type of celebration everybody's indulging in this these cups of water or juice or whatever birds drink I don't know I also feel like with the King and Queen of Swords, um, whatever this is going into, you might feel like you don't fit in. You might feel like you might have been out of out of the area. Maybe you moved. Maybe you're moving back. You might not have. You might not have been in this. Um, line of work or line of knowledge or whatever you might be intimidated I guess is the word I'm looking for but with the king and queen of swords and all these like-minded cards don't be because you you need to find your inspiration in yourself Right, you need to find that in yourself and your self worth, and know that basically you're just as good as everybody. But I really feel like on the onset of something, you're going to be very intimidated by it, but it's not anything to be intimidated by. If that makes any sense, I don't know. You'll have to let me know, Cancer. I think there's a lot more. Uh, familiar things and unfamiliar things coming up. And again, it could be with a job because of the pentacles coming under that, the victory, the six of pentacles, the give and take, the success. All right, let's pull an animal spirit card for you and see what they say for cancer. Oracle Cancer needs to know. Parrot Spirit, watch your words. <laughs> uh, I think of uh, repeat. You know, when you say a word to those parrots and they repeat. Watch your words. People are listening. People are listening. And I feel that in the spiritual realm as well. Watch your words. Watch what you ask for. Be very specific. What are you saying to yourself? What messages are you repeating? Is this something that makes you feel good about yourself and reminds you of your strengths and potential? When we say to have self-worth here, parrots mimic the sounds around them. And when parrot spirit appears, it's time to be more mindful of your self-talk and its qualities. What do you say to others? Are you repeating what you truly believe? Remembering to speak with light and love can, come, can become a habit. Be generous with compliments. And thanks, affirming that all is good and so that your loving, healing words will be heard throughout the jungle, cutting through the noise and inspiring others. Listen for the words that remind you all this, remind you of all the strength and abundance and joy in your life and in the world around you. And, when, and then repeat them, affirming what is really true and nurturing to your soul. The universe will reflect back to you the story you tell. Words matter, so choose ones that lift you up and inspire others to remember the beauty that surrounds us. Beautiful. And Cancer, you're such a loving, kind, nurturing soul. This really comes easy for you. But when you're down a little bit, if you're down on your luck or things don't go your way or, you know, life happens, we can be our own worst enemy also. You can beat yourself up with those words. You can absolutely uh, think the worst of yourself and think the worst of a situation
the colors. Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel too with freedom. It's like, watch your words, but again, know that just as bad words can hurt, good words can inspire. Beautiful. Cancer, let me know if this resonates with you. I'd love to hear from you. See what's going on in your life and if this, you know, helps you or hurts you or hinders you or, you know, gives you some answers. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Cancer, I put out readings the first of the month for love. If you're interested, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys next month. All right. Take care. Bye for now.